these socket testers are a great tool for any DIY or professional. They're simple, reliable, and all you need to do is plug it in a socket, turn the socket on, and the lights light up and give you a series of information. So on this one, it tells you if it's correct, if it's missing earth, live earth reverse, live neutral reverse, and missing neutral. There is one issue with these where they actually won't detect an earth neutral reverse. First, I'm just gonna go over how these actually work. Now, there are a number of resistors wired between these earth, live, and neutral pins. The current travels from the live pin through a series of resistors and LEDs, and then based on these five wiring options, depending on how the current is actually flowing, one of these will light up. So assuming is everything's wired up correctly, a small amount of power will pass from this live pin through these LEDs, both correctly a bit down to the earth pin, so it'll leak a little bit of current to earth and leak a bit through the neutral as well. And then go through these LEDs and they'll both light up green for correct. Now the resistors in these are sufficiently strong to only let a small amount of current through. So they shouldn't blow your RCDs or your RCBO and cause those to trip. Unless of course you've got other current leaking in your home through those and then the addition from this could be enough to cause it to trip, but this alone wouldn't cause them to trip, it just leaks a few milliamps. You usually need about 30 milliamps to trip an RCD. Now there are more expensive versions of these that do show some additional information, but this is quite a cheap one, so it just has these five options, but still a very useful tool. Now the main problem with one of these is they won't show you if one of your cores in the back of the socket isn't connected correctly. So say you've got a typical socket will have two cables coming into it, so you'll have your in and your out, which goes to the next socket. And if you've got your live core in the incoming, connected but in the outgoing to the next socket if that's not connected and that's come loose or come out the back of the socket when you've pushed it onto the wall and screwed it down this won't show up because everything will appear normal to this the only place you would notice it is if you went along to the next socket in your room or on the circuit and plugged this in and then you would find you've got a problem where it would now highlight that there wasn't any power at that socket assuming it was the live core that i just mentioned so that's on a radial. If it's a ring circuit, you've got current coming from both directions. So it's not just a daisy chain, it's connected in two places back to the consumer unit. And so in that example, if you've got a core not connected correctly in the back of the socket, or just hanging out the back, this will show everything being normal still. So you could have a broken ring and this wouldn't show you the issue at all. Everything would appear correct on this. For a radial, these are great, and as long as you're plugging it into multiple sockets along the radial, then you can be assured that you've got your connections correct. If you're on a ring, you need, really need to make sure that your cores are tight into the back of those terminals, because this won't show up any problems with missing cores. If you're only missing one, it would be that if you're missing both, this would still show the problem, or if you've reversed some, this would show the issue. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, and you want to learn more about rings and radials, click somewhere here. And please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.